Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, I'm Jay. I'm going to show you a quick overview of the uh, brand new um, LG NV Touch, which is the VX11000. People might think of it more as the Voyager 2, but they're calling it the NV Touch now. Um, so basically, here's your main screen. Um, I set it up so it's more like a desktop. You've got a calendar in the middle, uh, a couple icons on the side. You have, you know, alarm clock and whatnot. Um, what you can do from here is you've got five buttons across the bottom on the touch screen itself. You've got messaging, the dial pad, the main menu, your contacts, and a favorites button. Um, besides that, you've got three buttons on the bottom. You have your call button. Oops. You have a clear button, and you've got an end button. And on the side, you've got a couple buttons. You've got your camera button, which is a two-step button. You push it in once to focus, you push it again and take a picture. Um, you've got your volume up and volume down buttons and your lock button. The lock button is cool because the second you hit it you just turn it right off. All you have to do is hit it again and either you can slide this up like that or you can just hit the button again and it unlocks automatically. So okay, um, for example let's check out messaging. When you go into the messaging you can set it so it's threaded messages so basically, instead of just your inbox and your outbox, you can set it so it's like an IM. So for example, if I hit one of them, you can check out a couple of messages here, and you can set your picture and your friend's picture. And it sets it up just like an IM, which is pretty cool. So let's go to the messaging, check that out again. Um, if you were to write a new message, which is pretty cool, let's say you're doing a text message, um, you can set it, you can choose from your contacts list or you can choose right from your favorites list, which is really cool. If you go to the text button. So you can do standard like typing on the dial pad or when you turn it, you can start typing on the QWERTY keyboard or you can just open it up and you can just start typing right on the internal QWERTY keyboard. So the texting feature is great because you basically have three different ways to text. So let's check out the menu. So I've got mine set to. Um, you can do side scrolling to get through all the different options on here. Um, for example, let's check out the media center, which is pretty cool. So you can check out your pictures, your games, your music. So if you do pictures, you can just scroll through the pictures, which is cool. You can go through. Just like a big wheel. So that's pretty cool. When you open them up, it shows somewhat of a different view. You can just go through a bunch of pictures. Back at the menu, let's check out the music player. The music player in this thing is actually really good. If you notice, it's got the 3.5 millimeter back right here, which just says Dolby Mobile on it. So it's got a couple of EQ settings when you hook it up to headphones. So normal headphones will fit this. So if you got headphones lying around from your iPod or something, you can just put them in here. Um, so we'll check out some of the stuff. The sound quality is really good. I just put a couple songs on here. You can just change the volume by the side buttons. Change the setting right here. This is for the Dolby. See, the flat sounds kind of boring. So setting it to something else makes it like 10 times better automatically. It sounds pretty good. Once you just back out of it, it stays on your desktop. So there you can see it's just sitting on my desktop. I bring it up, and you can just X out of it. So that's the music player. The music player is pretty great. Um, I could definitely see myself using it instead of carrying my iPod or my Zune around all day. I could just, you know, plug it into this. Um, I can't really give you a demo of the mobile browser uh, because I didn't end up getting the data package. But rest assured, I've seen plenty of other videos you can check out on YouTube, and everybody's pretty uh, satisfied with it. Um, it's a full HTML browser, so if you go on like YouTube or something, you can actually watch the YouTube videos in the browser, which is great. Uh, the camera on it's pretty cool, too. On the back, it's 3.2 autofocus. It's got a little LED flash in it. The inside screen is really, the quality is really good. I just took a picture of my truck, and... You know, it looks great on here. 
these are all the buttons you got right here. The only little annoyance I've got with it is I came from using the uh, first generation Envy, and the space button used to be there used to be two on these sides. Now they've moved it onto the same row and in the middle, so you kind of get screwed up when you're going through everything. Uh, it takes a little bit of time to get used to, but I'm sure I'll get used to it pretty quick. Um, other than that, though, I mean, everything about this phone is great. Uh, the battery life for me is fine, and I, you know, text all day long and uh, take pictures and everything, and, you know, I've been doing it since, like, 2 o'clock today, and my bar, as you can see, only went down one bar. So, overall, I mean, this phone's a great phone, definitely worth checking out. You can pick it up at Verizon. Uh, it retails for two nineteen ninety nine, but there's a $70 mail-in rebate, and if you qualify for new every two, you can get 50 to to $100 off. So it's a pretty good deal. Um, I suggest definitely checking it out or at least getting into the nearest store and uh, giving it a try. So that's for my review. Um, my name is Jay Oaks over on the forums at www.mv-touch.com. Uh, come check it out. There's a lot of uh, useful things in there from people who've got the phone like me. So uh, thanks for watching.